Hi, and welcome to Levon's Kitchen. Today in the kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make some delicious, easy onion gravy. That's it, just some onion gravy. I noticed how you guys took to the brown gravy, so I'm going to dress it up a little and show you how to do some onion gravy, okay? So, let's get to it. First thing, onion gravy. Sharp, the star of the show, our onion, okay? We're gonna have some butter, some flour, just all-purpose flour, a little garlic powder, some A1 seasoning or browning sauce. I'm gonna give you an option. You could use either one, okay? And then we are going to have some chicken broth. That's it, and it's gonna be just that easy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start chopping up my onion. Um, and while I'm doing that, you know what I need you to do. That's right. If you're new to the channel, go out there, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. And then at the end of the video, make sure you hit that like button. Okay, I'll chop this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so while I'm chopping up my onions, um, I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter multitask that's right you can do two things at once so let's put this butter in here get that to melting paper off there what is that on there the paper off of the butter we don't want the paper on the butter let me turn this down because i i only want to melt it i don't want to brown it or anything like that i'm going to take that off the heat because that was too hot just let that cool off while it's melting all right i'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my onion It's cooling down. All right, I'll put it back. So I'm just gonna, this is a really large onion, so I'm gonna cut it in half and then just slice it. And because I'm making onion gravy, I want my slices to be, I want slivers, you know? I don't want it diced up into little chunks. I want slivers, okay? So at, you see, after it's cut like that, let me show you they'll be little slivers like that. That's what I want, okay? Onion gravy is really good on pork chops, on um, a steak, uh, any type of beef. Um, it's good on... I'm gonna use this whole onion because I really wanna have that onion flavor. My butter is almost done. As soon as my butter gets done, I'm gonna go ahead and put these onions in there because I want them to saute. I want them thin, but I want them to be sliced like that. Individual slivers. Oh, we want those slivers. Okay. So we have our onions cut up. We have, my butter is already melted. And so I'm going to go ahead, turn this up just a little so that I can saute my onions. I'm going to break them up while they're in here. Now, some people would use oil, and you can use oil for this, but the butter just gives it a little bit more flavor, and the butter will actually brown, so it'll give it that brown flavor, I mean brown color, you know, me and my presentation, so. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this up a little. I had to turn it down at first. I just didn't want my butter to burn. Butter will burn fast and we didn't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook until those turn brown. While that's doing that, I'm gonna measure me out a cup of flour. One even cup of flour. 
open this up, shake it up. You can use beef broth or vegetable broth. I just chose chicken. So my onions are soft now, they're translucent. As you can see, once you can see through them a little bit, they're a little translucent, then you know they're done. They've released all the oils and flavors and that's basically what we wanted them to do. So they've done their job for now. We're gonna go ahead and add our cup of flour. Let's see, stir it in. I mean, I need a whole cup. Half cup might do it. And what, yeah, we're not gonna put all of that. This, that was about, what, two thirds of a cup. That's good enough. So, we're gonna just let this continue to cook. And we're gonna keep stirring it because we wanna cook out that flour taste. Okay, my butt, I mean, my flour is starting to brown a little, so it's time to go ahead and add our chicken broth. I'm gonna just do a little at a time and stir it in there real well. sure you stir it very well because you don't want lumpy gravy. So the secret to not having lumpy gravy is to stir. It's getting nice and creamy. That's what we want, a nice creamy gravy. We don't want it too runny. We don't want it too thick. Want it nice and creamy. Just keep stirring. Make sure there's no lumps. There's lots of onions and it's smelling good already. I'm gonna use this entire thing, but I just wanna do it slowly. And there we go. While this is cooking, we're going to start to add our seasonings. First, we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder. Onions and garlic just go together so well, don't they? <laughs> yes. Just mix it in. Make sure you're still stirring. Like I said, we don't want lumps. And basically, I've already stirred out all the lumps, so we're, we're fine as far as the lumps. But we want to just make sure that everything is mixed in there really well. Okay. I'll turn it up just a little. I don't remember if I showed you the black pepper when I showed you the ingredients, but we do want to add just a little bit of black pepper. It's mixed in well. And I don't know if you notice, it's already starting to turn a little brown. But we're going to turn it a lot brown. And remember, I gave you a choice. You could either use the browning sauce or the A1, season, I mean, A1 steak sauce. Um, if you're using pork chops and you don't, I mean, the steak sauce is good on beef. Definitely. Um, if you want pork chops or anything like that, the browning sauce is good. I mean, you can use the browning sauce with um, beef as well, but I'm gonna use the browning sauce today. Not only does the browning sauce change the color of the gravy, but it adds flavor. 
Look at it already. Just keep stirring. Look at that color. It just totally changed. And it doesn't take long to do it, cook this gravy. It's just all the stirring that you have to do. I mean, it's not a lot of steps to it. It's just all this stirring that you have to do just to make sure that everything is mixed and that there's no lumps. Look at this. I'm gonna taste it and see if it needs salt because the browning sauce, like I said, it has flavor in it. So I'm gonna taste it, see if it needs any sauce. This gravy is basically done. Mmm, mmm. I am gonna put salt in it. But other than that, oh, this is good. It needed a lot of salt, y'all. <laughs> well, I always put a lot of salt. I need to stop that, but. Okay. And there we go. You see how our onions, let me get you a really good look at this. You see those onions in there? I'm gonna get a spoon that might be able better to show you. Grab a big, a little larger spoon. Look at all those onions. Mmm, and look at the consistency of it. You see how thick it is? And it's done. That's it. Onion gravy in Levon's kitchen. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And if your gravy is ever too thick, you can add a little bit more um, chicken broth to it. Okay. Okay, so that's our onion gravy recipe. It was quick, it was easy, and it was absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed it. For those who are new to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. And guess what? I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Bye.